Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis. We're on just about a minute or so early at this point in time. We're having some connection issues, so I wanted to make certain that everything was working on here before I got going with everything else going on across the area for right now. We're live on Periscope and Twitter, and again, making certain that everything is working properly. I'm going to make just certain I'm not talking to myself here real quick. And it looks like, okay, good. We're back on the uh, net with no problem at all. Um, minor technical issues, stuff happens, but, you know, you kind of like to know a little bit more about what's going on before uh, it gets on here. For some reason, again, the Internet's been a little cranky, so it's a little difficult to say that, again, we were very much on the broadcasting or netcasting side of things, unfortunately, because we didn't have a signal going out for some odd reason. No idea why, but there it is. So as of right now, things looking pretty good. For the time being, right before the time we start, we'll go ahead and get going here in just a little bit. In the meantime, if you're just joining us, uh, please make certain that you uh, send any pictures you've got, weather pictures. We'd love to be able to see those from around the Mid-South or from points at wherever you happen to be. Drop us a uh, city and state and also more information about just general location. And if you've got a weather report, we'd love to see more about that as well in the Mid-South area. So stick around. Again, we'll have more details on that and who's checking in from where coming up in just a little bit. So more details on that in just a little bit. And again, your complete forecast coming up here uh, relatively soon. Live on Periscope and Twitter. Give me just a second here to invite our Facebook friends in this morning. And as of right now, it looks like our microphones are working. Sorry about the audio difficulties on Facebook from earlier. We seem to get most of those fixed at this point in time. And hopefully everything will stay that way. Uh, cobbling things together here with a couple of spoons, some duct tape, and a couple of gum wrappers, MacGyver style. So welcome to the show. Everything is, again, a work looking pretty good for Mother's Day across the Mid-South, and we'll talk more about the complete forecast. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, uh, especially my own mom back in Topeka, Kansas. More than likely not up and going just yet, taking the day off, and usually not a big person for netcasting up there, but we'll be uh, talking with her a little bit later on tonight, so stick around for more on that in just a little bit. Rest of the day today, if you're on Periscope and Twitter watching us again, the information on the forecast down at the lower left-hand corner of your screen. And if you're just joining us on Facebook, we'll have more details again at wreg.com slash weather for more details if you'd like to catch more of the forecast there. Rest of the next several days, uh, Triple C Hoko, welcome to the show on Periscope. Thanks for joining us. And Kathy Wilson on Facebook as well. Temperatures topping about 90 degrees as we go into later on this afternoon. So a very sultry day coming up across much of the Mid-South, already getting plenty of sunshine out there. A few joggers and strollers earlier this morning before the sun came up at the track and field facility out around Oxford, Mississippi, at the University of Mississippi this morning. A lot of parking spaces take taken up yesterday, I guess, uh, proper phrase there, again, as we had graduation ceremonies yesterday, so a little bit less in the way of uh, people out and about on the Ole Miss campus for this afternoon and into this evening, not really seeing a lot going on. From former mayor and current meteorologist Sam Reichard in Olive Branch, thank you very much for the weather underground web cameras out there. Blue skies, beautiful day, no major problems seen here, looking very quiet into and around the area, and and you can follow him at Mayor OB around the Olive Branch area on the Weather Underground system. From the Weather Bug system into and around the Mid-South area from Germantown, Tennessee, towers of Poplar and Mendenhall visible out there on the horizon. Poplar Pike and Germantown Road and the water towers just north of the high school. Again, decently quiet for right now. Very good visibility out there. Temperatures rising pretty rapidly. We were in the upper 60s just about an hour or so ago, now into the mid-70s into and around Germantown. The Super Bowl of Swine about ready to get going in downtown Memphis later on this week as the Memphis in May Championship Barbecue Festival gets geared up, the structures and the tents going up, and eventually that nice aroma. Hopefully we get a north breeze, a northeasterly breeze later on this week. Why is that so important? Well, one of the fringe benefits of working here at News Channel 3 in and around downtown Memphis. If you look through the trees right in that area right there, that's the TV station. That through that area around Martyrs Park is where I'm netcasting from right now. And if the wind is 
just right later on. That aroma goes right down the river and toward the area around I-55. So very much looking forward to seeing if the winds change by just a little bit into and around the Mid-South. So we see some of that aroma from the competition make it down our direction. So looking forward to that. Very sunny downtown, otherwise not doing too bad. Nothing in the way of rainfall showing up on Storm Tracker 3S and not expecting any realistically until about another 48 hours. We'll talk more about that in the forecast coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more there. All right, running the numbers through about early this afternoon, we do still have that potential for some very warm conditions out across much of the Mid-South looking at numbers going back into around the mid to upper 80s to lower 90s right after lunchtime. So taking mom out for lunch or maybe even dinner and a show later on tonight, it's going to be pretty steamy out there. Add to that, if you're going to be doing anything outdoors in the way of, say, yard work for today, exercising outdoors, that extra slug of water would not be such a bad idea. And remember to take breaks as we start to get more warm, moist air up off the Gulf of Mexico. This is where we're going to be seeing, again, get a little bit more stifling out there. So definitely want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself, putting back the water that your body sweats away. You get rid of a decent amount of it, and you need to put that back to avoid dehydration. So please remember that if you're going to be heading out the door pretty soon. Welcome to everybody joining us on Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter for this morning. Thanks a lot to everybody for uh, dropping on by for the early portions of Sunday morning. Rest of the Mid-South, again, not seeing anything the way of cool conditions right on in through News Channel 3 at 10 later on tonight. Conditions continue to be very warm. Through News Channel 3 daybreak tomorrow morning, make certain you tune in to News Channel 3's Todd Demers with his forecast bright and early that will be starting at 4.30 a.m. tomorrow. And through rush hour into around the rest of the day. Now, notice again the green showing up over here. The computer gets really overexcited on some of these models, and with the extra amount of moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico, it starts saying, hey, wow, look, rainfall coming our way. But just hang on a second, uh, Hal. It does not look like we're going to be getting anything in the way of rainfall for tomorrow. Reading the higher humidity levels, it sometimes overestimates that as plenty of rainfall out there, and I don't think we're going to be seeing anything in the way of rain until we get into around... Tuesday or so. Monday, I think, is going to be plenty of sunshine and some more clouds, yes, but uh, the chance of rainfall at this point just does not look to be an option at this time, so we'll keep our eyes on that. Mother's Day today, again, very much on the warm side. Normal for this time of the year is about 80 degrees, and we're going to be about 10 to 12 degrees above that. Didn't even hit 90 yesterday for a high temperature. We got way up into the upper 80s for the official high in Memphis, but that was warm enough as it was, and we'll be a little bit warmer than that later on the this afternoon. Even warmer tomorrow, but still not seeing anything officially in the way of rainfall potential out there. Now, this forecast has also changed for Tuesday. If you didn't see the forecast since last night, we did have, again, late chances of showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday evening, past about News Channel 3 at 10, and pretty close to about midnight on Wednesday. In this case, we've had to move the forecast up a little bit for showers and thunderstorms possible by about Tuesday afternoon and evening. Now, again, a lot of schools starting to wrap things up. Summer vacation is coming up pretty quickly. A lot more kids going to be out and about. A lot of outdoor activities taking place. If you have outdoor activities, from, say, any time in the near future uh, all the way throughout the rest of the summer. Keep in mind, again, keep yourself hydrated and cool. Don't overexert yourself. And number two, and more importantly, when thunderstorms are in the area, it may sound like a silly catchphrase to you, but if it saves lives, I'm all for it. So remember, turn around, don't drown when there's flash flooding. And also, when thunder roars, go indoors. It's very safe if there's a thunderstorm within view or if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to get struck by lightning. Something to teach the kids that if you're outdoors, time to get back indoors again. You do not want to risk getting struck by lightning. Your odds of getting struck by lightning every single year are much greater than your possibility of winning the lottery. And add to that, men get struck more often than women do outdoors. So again, that's all true facts. If you'd like to know more, just take a look at the National Weather Service Service fact page on lightning and lightning awareness week will be coming up a little bit later on this summer. In the meantime, we were expecting a bit of a cool down, so to speak, anyway, by the time we hit this next weekend. We're not seeing anything like that right now. Looks like we'll stay in the mid to upper 80s throughout the foreseeable future, and there will be those chances of showers and thunderstorms over the next several days. So if you have any plans for outdoors, 
please keep in mind that again if you see anything in the way of lightning or hear thunder you need to get back inside again let's all practice some good storm safety out there as we go throughout not just this next week but all the way throughout the rest of summer and keep an eye on those in and around the area back indoors in a sturdy building is going to be your best bet just to be on the safe side out there even if there is no severe weather out there let's all be careful when lightning and thunder are around millington tennessee starting off weather where the troops are it's our little kind of salute to everybody on the home front and to all those who are wearing the uniform of the United States military, either in country or around the world. Starting off at Naval Support Activity, lower 70s, plenty of sunshine with calm winds. Heading down toward Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, temperatures again a little bit warmer back in the lower 80s, no thunderstorms just yet, and at the high temperature for the day of 82 with partly cloudy skies. Into around Europe and the Mediterranean, 50s few thunderstorms back around Aviano, Italy, and some rain showers off the area of the Adriatic, back toward around Pristina, and into around the, the Persian Gulf, very much on the warm side, cooler, so to speak, around Bahrain, breezy winds right now, but plenty of sunshine into and around the Persian Gulf, Iraq temperatures back in the 70s and 80s, right close to around sunset time on that side of the planet, and into around Afghanistan, 90s around Kandahar, but 60s around Kabul and around the area of Herat with some thunderstorms around the area of Kabul. Don't see, again, a lot of rain showers, but we do pick up some thunderstorms and rain at this time of the year. More sandstorms than anything else, but we can get some nicer temperatures out there, cooling things off by just a bit. And back towards South Korea, temperatures back in the 50s and 60s, and again, not seeing anything in the way of rainfall. Just a few clouds around the area, rounding our tour around the planet, back toward Joint Base Pearl Harbor, Hickam, 70 six degrees still missing the wind data there i'll get that fixed later on tonight before we do this all over again around 8 35 this evening more weather and climate details all you have to do is check out this website from the world meteorological organization it's all available at public.wmo.int for more details about what's going on, Fire Captain 202, welcome to the show on Periscope and everybody else checking in for this morning. Uh, Diane Marie Rivera Villafane from Knoxville, son's graduation. That's my uh, wife's home stopping territory back that direction. Her grandparents, her dad, and several of her uh, friends are back in and around that area. So uh, hope the weather is nice in Knoxville at this time. Grady Bennett, 72 degrees, calm winds. Thank you very much from Fraser for checking in with that weather report. Want to hear more weather throughout the weekend, but you can't be near your phone or your tablet? Check us out on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. Todd Demers, of course, will have his forecast bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak if you'd like to find out more about what's going on there. And, of course, I'll be on live with, again, more weather with Bob and Josh at some point into the next several days. Monday through Friday, catch the forecast from myself around the area at uh, AM 730. Can't hear them on the radio because you're out of the Mid-South area. Dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org and you can find out more by listening in on that one. Fire Captain 202 on Periscope just south of Knoxville. Sounds good. Wish I was uh, in that area for right now. Beautiful weather. It'd be a great day to be up around Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge for today and around Cades Cove, too. Haven't been there in quite some time in that area. Thanks, to everybody else, for joining us for this morning. Again, a very happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, especially mine back in Topeka, Kansas, who's more than likely not watching this netcast at this point, but we'll see if we can talk to her a little bit later on tonight if everything goes well, so stick around for more on that. Rest of the day today, again, got questions about the forecast, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. And, of course, stick around for more at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to know more about what's going on with the forecast throughout the rest of the weekend online. And you can check out more details tonight. We'll be on at 5 and 10. Kristen Holloway has the day's news. Mike Sadie has all the day's sports. And yours truly with your forecast coming up later on this evening. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us today on our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And stick around for a lot more throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online. Thanks for